guys. So we're going to do a reading on, it's going to be a love reading, but I'm going to kind of leave this open. So what is it that you need to know about that's coming towards you in love? So this could, this could actually be anything. This could be just, a, you know, how you feel about your love life right now, where you're at, um, where you need to be or what you need to be focused on. This could be someone coming in towards you. I'm just leaving this open for spirit to bring forth the messages that need to, that you need to hear the most. Okay. To move forward for your highest good. So I have three protective stones here. These are all stones that are really good when it comes to um, protecting your energy and protecting yourself from negative energies, which kind of is the reason I'm wanting to use these is because of the reading, the reading itself is to focus on what is for your highest good. So kind of leaving the negativity, kind of the negative more <laughs> energies um, outside of this. So you kind of are prepared, you know, to move forward. Okay. So three piles here to choose from. Um, the first pile here is the Gilded Tarot. And this is, a, I'm pretty sure, and I hope that it is, because <laughs> it's protective stone. Um, I think this is a type of Himalite. Um, it's a stone that I got with a bunch of other stones. It didn't have a name or anything on it, but I did look it up, um, the picture of it, and it came back as a Hematite. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Um, and then the second pile here is the, um, this is the regular water way tarot. This is the classic version. Um, and then this is my favorite. You always see me have this on my desk. This is my, um, obsidian pyramid. Um, really, really good protective stone. And then this here is the, um, the wandering star tarot. And this is a piece of palm, um, Labradorite. And this stone's really good for um, not only protection, but it's really good for anxiety, stress, major changes in your life. This stone is very healing. It does all kinds of stuff. I actually have a whole bunch of these. <laughs> um, okay, guys. So, pile one, pile two, pile three. Time stamps are down below, and I'll see you at your pile. Hey, Paul Wynn. Paul Wynn, totally forgot to light your, your stuff here to clear the energy out. Let me do that real quick. I've been doing that really bad lately. Um, so, Paul Wynn, if you chose the, which I'm hoping is, <laughs> the um, Himalat stone. It's really pretty, though, isn't it? I mean, camera doesn't do it justice because it's got like a glimmer to it that you can't really see. But And then this is the um, the gilded royal gilded tarot and this will be your reading we're starting off here with the queen of cups so you could be cancer energy and the four of cups so you may be in a space to where you um you could have offered someone here something in the past offer offered your cup to them in the past and i feel as if I feel as if this person maybe wasn't focused on that or focused on other things at the time. For some reason, I feel like they may have gotten your attention or you may have gotten their attention recently. Okay, that was kind of strange. We're gonna go ahead and pull tarot first and then I also have some oracles that I'm gonna pull as well. Um, I'm gonna just tell you what I'm seeing in tarot so far. So this is whatever message that Spirit's kind of wanting to um, clear up, moving forward, um, what they feel like you kind of need to know about your love life and where you are here. There's the lovers there and the fool. I always like to pay attention when I'm shuffling, when I'm seven of swords and the lovers again. Somebody might have snuck away from you in the past. In the past situation, you may have felt like someone snuck away Possibly instead of maybe even bringing a choice, bringing or deciding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into this. Call one. Look at that. That did not light at all. Sorry, guys. Hang in there. 
Come on. Come on, you. There we go. I think that's better. All right. Okay, Paul one. What does Paul one need to know about their love life spirit? What do they need to know? Moving forward for their highest good. So you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There may be a um, div divine masculine energy here that has, um, feels like they've lost an opportunity with you. We have the Sun. We have the Eight of Swords. It actually popped out almost exactly um, sideways. So I'm gonna kind of take it sideways because there's a meaning behind that. I think that this person that, that is on your mind or that you're definitely on their mind, I think that they feel like they they want to have success here with you. And I feel like they're, they're getting past some illusions in this moment in time. I think they're trying to get past their fear, um, but they're not quite there yet. It's a slow, I feel like it's a slow energy, okay? The devil. Yeah, those are those fears. This person may be obsessively thinking about you, though, or thinking about this. Sorry, guys. Coming back towards you here. Um, what else? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. This person has this illusion that they still can't really offer you anything. Um, or they don't have... They don't can't give 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 to you what you're wanting. It's a weird thing to say. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's that Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups upright. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Wands. So this is a challenge here, okay? This person, I feel like, has this idea that they want to offer you something in love, okay? They have a love offer. They're thinking about this. They're thinking about coming back in and offering a cup of love to you, okay? Maybe something that they passed up from you in the past. Um, there's a possibility of that. That's there. But the problem is, is this person feels as if they don't have an opportunity to ground it or they feel like it's the challenge is, is trying to find the opportunity to ground this, okay? They're looking at their obstacles here that are in front of them. And they're feeling like, how am I going to get, how am I going to be capable of grounding this, what I want here? Yeah, the five of wands here. So, this person is, this person is fighting themselves currently, guys. They're in this place to where they want something, but they don't know how they can tangibly get it. You know, they don't know how they can grasp it. So they don't have a, a clear idea here, but the want is there and the knowing of a lost opportunity in the past is there. And I think that's part of what's keeping them stuck, you know, um, but stuck in between uh, possibilities and then just leaving the past in the past. It's like this eight of wands is their obstacle. This eight of wands is that hurdle they have to get past, right? And the eight of wands is about holding yourself mentally, um, restraining yourself, but not realizing that you're doing it. Letting all your fears, anxieties, and all these illusions take over your mind when you actually can have the capability of taking the blindfold off and stepping outside of those swords. But you can't see your way out of it because fear is getting the best of you. And this is where this person's at right now. So here's what they want, right? They want to be able to, if you've had any kind of conflict with this person, with the five of wands being here, any kind of disagreements that have happened, this person wants to come out of that with you, okay? They're looking for opportunities or ways to do that with the sun being here. They want to have a, want to ha move in a positive um, direction, okay? They want to have happiness here overall. Um, and I feel like this is something that this person has been, yeah, there's a tower with the page of cups here. Okay, so with this Eight of Swords, you have the Page of Cups, which is that in the tower here. These are heavy energies, guys. Um, 
this person I think is very, very afraid of being rejected as well. I feel like they, that want again to offer that cup, you know, you have the page of, of cups here. So, you know, that's really them wanting to um, come forward, you know, and, and, a, and share some kind of emotion here. But I feel like with it being in reverse, it's almost like this person is kind of afraid of a rejection in that way. And they have this illusion, this mindset, you know, that's holding them back that they're trying to overcome. That if they come forward with their cup and, and you don't offer that cup there, then this tower moment's going to take place within them. You know, you see how this guy's completely naked and he's fallen from the tower here? And it's like that's the vulnerability there. You know, the, the, the bareness of the sky is being completely vulnerable. And that's kind of the Page of Cups because the pages are like the, the childlike energy, right? So when a child comes with their emotions, they're going to bring everything. <laughs> you know, kids don't come to us with, okay, I got to get everything together, get my emotions in balance when I go ask mom for this. No, they come at you full force <laughs> with all the emotion that they have and, you know, ask for whatever it is they want or whatever emotion they're carrying. It's just full force. You know, that's what a page, that's what a page is. And it's also about learning. And I want to say that this person may be learning to kind of Okay, I feel like what I'm hearing here is this person may be learning to apologize for things in a way. But the fear of rejection is very, very heavy. I mean, it's not like you don't have any, you have the tower here. That's heavy. So being vulnerable is not easy for this person. And so they're taking like these baby steps, right? But this eight of wands, like I said, they're, they're coming they're starting to pay attention to their thoughts, okay? They're starting to pay attention to their process, the way they're processing their thoughts in this scenario. So for the Ten of Swords in reverse is here for the devil. Okay. So this person is going back through their mind and they're thinking about how things ended here, right? And they're wanting to make improvements in the way that maybe they, even they've expressed their self when it comes to communications, because we're talking about swords here. But I feel like this person, you know, wants to, there's heavy like um, resolution energy that I'm feeling here. They see that the way that they've maybe um, ended things or how things went in the past is something that they see as this double energy. So very negative. Um, how do I else do I explain this? It's a um, fearful energy. It's a trapped energy. Um, but it's, it's, a neg it's negativity, you know? And for the Ten of Swords to be here in reverse... It's like they want to recover themselves from that negativity that took place. So if this person may feel as if you might have some negative thoughts about them because of this Ten of Swords. They may feel as if how they ended things weren't on the best note. And that's why they're kind of thinking about having the opportunity to come back in and, and kind of resolve things so that they can have more success moving forward, this could be in the way and just you not seeing them like a bad person, you know, you're not seeing them as someone that did you wrong, or it's almost like a wanting to explain the situation, right? This is something that's laying heavy on this person's mind. It's something that's really emotional to them with that page of cups being in reverse there. And, you know, this could come across in a way that I think this person may actually be trying to get their emotions more in balance before they come to you because I feel like when this person thinks about this or thinks about possibly how you're kind of perceiving them in, in some way, it, it causes a lot of emotion to come up in this part within this person. And it's not, they don't know how to ha really handle it or they don't know really how to calm it down. You know, like I said, the page, that little kid coming to you, you know, they don't, when they don't get their way, <laughs> you know how they don't, when they don't get their way, you know, um, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> it's the 
that kind of energy. So, you know, when they come to you and they're like very emotional about things because they're not getting what they want or what they feel like they deserve or need, that's the emotion that I'm feeling here. So if this person's thinking that you're perceiving them in some kind of way, all kinds of emotions can come up with that. That's the Eight of Swords. So they could feel sadness, of course, with that. They could also even feel anger with that. You know, think of it, I, I know I keep referring to this little kid thing, but I, you know, I am a mom, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but it's like, you know, when you when you go to someone and you ask them for something and you don't get what you're asking or whatever that is, all these emotions come up to where you feel mad, you feel sad, you don't understand why, all these other things. That's what this person's going through. So anytime they think about bringing in this, this offer here, this can come in the way of an apology and you rejecting that, that's this tower moment. That vulnerability of all those feelings come to the surface. So they're trying to decide how they're going to handle that moving forward if they have if they are able to get this offer here you know this offer to come to you that's what they're fighting because their ultimate goal here is success they want they want a resolution they want happiness they want to you to be able to see them in possibly a way better life than what you're seeing them you know, or you might not be, this might just be this person's illusions, but you could very well much be seeing them as the way that they think you are, you know, and they're wanting to come and kind of just fix it. You know, they want to come fix it, but they have to, they're fighting themselves in order to get there. You know, they have to fight their own, it's a battle within, you have to fight your own fear to get to that point, you know, because if you go to your, your mother, <laughs> And you're that little kid and you really want something you have to fight that fear of knowing that if they tell you no all those feelings that are going to come up you know what i mean that's what this person's going through if you get rejected or or anything how's they don't know how you're going to react to this so right now they're still kind of thinking about the negative parts of it but the good thing is this is in sideways so it's saying that they're working on it. So they can, the good thing is, is that they can see some the positives out of it, not just the negative now, you know? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? The Six of Wands, yeah. This person wants to have success here. So I feel like, I think that with the Six of um, Pentacles being here in reverse, it's almost like this person feels as if you may still have some kind of attachment with this person in some kind of way outside of just this relationship. Like you may have to be attached to them in some kind of way. You could work with this person. You just could, you could be in a friend group with this person. You could be in a, you know, family situation with this person. Whatever that is where you have some kind of attachment in some sort of way, they want to be able to have success because they want to be able to still um, be able to be around you, communicate with you, um, and not have all of these thoughts of how you're feeling about that situation. Does that make sense? I'm going to get some more detail here with that. Why is the six of wands here? Oop. Almost fell off the floor. A wheel of fortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person may also feel as if you were giving to them in some sort of way. However that way is for you. Um, even if this was financially here, look at, cause you have all these pinnacles here in the sky weighing out pinnacles. You have hands down here that are, you know, waiting for that pinnacle to drop. This person may also feel like if they can kind of clear up all this mess here, this, this disagreement or conflict here, then you'll be able, they'll have success here and they'll have more opportunities in the future with you. This could also be in the form of, this is anything, pinnacle wise, tangible wise. This is physical as well. So if you were physical with this person 
and they they may not want that from you now but they may want it in the future again then they want to kind of clear this up so that they can move forward and then they'll have possibly other more chances here more opportunities in the future with you okay does that make sense this could also pertain to a love offer you know if they wanted to offer you some kind of new relationship but they don't feel as if they can they're capable of giving to you right now. They still want that possibility to be there in the future. And in order to be able to have that, you have to clear up this mess first, right? You have to have improvements here first. I wanna see what the, um, did we get all that cleared up? <laughs> Let's see what the five of wands is here for to be a little nosy about this disagreement that took place here. The ones here. The emperor in reverse. Hmm. So that's about, to me, in a way, this could be another person, the emperor, um, could be someone else that's in the picture that may have caused some conflict in some kind of way that maybe you're not aware of even. Maybe this person hasn't been completely open or honest about that. This is heavy um, masculine energy here. I think the emperor is like the, that would be Aries energy. Or this person could just have felt like they didn't have any control in the situation and that was something that they didn't like. You know what I mean? Like, they couldn't either control their own selves here or they just couldn't control the, wow, I just heard arrangement. Okay. So they may have felt like they couldn't control the arrangement that they had with you or something that was there that they felt as if they couldn't control. So they, they, took control and just pulled their selves away, pulled their selves away from that. This person could also feel like they couldn't be, you know, if this was a romantic type situation here, whatever it was, they couldn't be this emperor. You know, they couldn't, they couldn't be the emperor that, that they may have felt that felt like you were wanting them to be. Because they're coming up here as a page, right? That's how they kind of see themselves here. Learning, it's a, it's a pages are starting out, so they're learning. So maybe that was the conflict there, is that they couldn't be this emperor and maybe that's what you were kind of asking or expecting of them. Um, tell me more about the emperor in reverse. Whoa, okay, that just popped right out. Um, wow, okay, so there's the Five of Swords and the Chariot. So what happened was, as soon as this conflict took place here, and this person felt as either, either if they were not capable of giving to you in the way that you were asking of them, or if there was just some kind of struggle that took place between the two of you and they couldn't control the situation or possibly even couldn't control you. We have cancer energy here with the chariot. Then this person did what they could do and, and took off, okay? As soon as this conflict started, you know, with the, with the five of swords here, as soon as this disagreement or trouble came about, this person took off with the chariot. That was how they took control in the situation. They, they moved away. They just kept moving forward. So this person could have, you could have maybe felt like this person kind of ghosted you. Um, you also have the moon in reverse. Now this is this person's overall energy, right? Which totally makes sense because of what we talked about. We have pans, uh, Pisces and uh, Cancer here as well. This person, so, what was I fixing to say? Because I got off track now because I'm looking at signs. <laughs> Dang it. Um, you have all the fixed signs here. So um, let's go through that real quick. Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Leo, Taurus. Right? Um, is that all? I think so. Okay. So we have some Leo here too. 
and more Scorpio. Okay, so the moon here being in reverse, the overall energy is that this is what this person's energy is in right now. They're trying to erase themselves, right, from any kind of delusions that they have, any kind of illusions that they have. Um, they, they also feel like things are coming to light for them possibly about the past with the six of um, cups here being. This is the past energy. They may see you as a soulmate energy or someone that they're connected with or someone that possibly they grew up with, someone, that, someone they've known for a long time. But um, this is past energy. So you definitely have a past here with this person. So they're trying to break themselves free from whatever it was of the past or they could be coming to light with things that happened in the past about some truths with the Ace of Swords being here in reverse. You know, it's interesting Interesting on this Ace of Swords, you have that white dove in the, in the back of it, which is that peace, that peace. But when the Ace of Swords is in reverse, it's like there's a clouded judgment about how things happened, right? It's also about trying to form new ideas or new new plans, or being careful moving forward with any kind of illusions, which is this whole thing that this person's trying to break their self free from. It's like they're going back in their in the past situation here with you, and they're reanalyzing everything, and they're coming to light with some things. Maybe, maybe how they were in this connection, Possibly these, you know, like we talked about here with the Ten of Swords being in reverse and the Devil. They're seeing some of the things that maybe they could have could have improved or could have done better. And maybe that's why they feel this possibility of needing to come in with some kind of reconciliation here. You know, some kind of a agreement. This is the weirdest way I'm getting this. Agreement on how things took place so that maybe you can get on the same page. And then they can have these, you know, possible opportunities for success here in the future. I feel like this person has been feeling like either they've left you out in the cold, which I think they did with the chariot and the five of swords being here with that emperor, but, or you could have left them out in the cold or both. You know, you both could be in this energy of have been feeling for a while that you're both left out in the cold. And I have to say there's five fives here, which is the tower card, by the way, but it means that there's huge, huge changes that are gonna be happening soon, okay? So keep that in mind. Definitely that this person wants to, um, this person realizes and knows that there's some things that need to be healed here. And look at this, Eight of Swords. Do you see the moon, how big the moon is? And that's what he's looking at. And you have the moon here, it's about all those illusions. This person is definitely thinking about the past and how things played out, all the illusions that went into that, where that where they can move forward from here to make it, you know, to come out of this pop, this cold place and kind of towards the lot, towards like a possibility for things to be in a positive direction. You have three aces out here, so definitely a new beginning is taking place, but the only one that you have upright is the ace of cups. So and that's with the seven of wands. That's the challenge, okay? So I feel like, you know, the ace of cups is that love offer, but it's also about being emotional, just being offering some kind of emotion. And when you come to someone and you want to reconcile something that happened in the past, that emotion's gonna be there. That vulnerability's gonna be there, which is what this person's afraid of. But they're really going back with things in the past and they're and they're being illuminated to things that they didn't see before okay of themselves how the situation played out and really a, a way of how they looked in that situation you know how they how how they perceived you and then how they are now perceiving themselves is different from what they felt before you know it's like when you sit down and you think about things that you did in the past with someone and you think why did I do it like that? <laughs> if, I, if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it the same way. Why did I do it like that? You know, that was um, shameful of me or that was not saying, I mean, well, could be with this person, but just you know, those feelings that come up that you wish you could go back and change. This person does want to change them. And I think it has something to do with the fact that you're still attached to this person in some kind of way or they're definitely still attached to you. They are having a lot of 
obsessive thoughts about how to improve this situation, okay? Um, so these are the spiral oracles. Oh gosh. I'll put all the oracle cards down below. So, cause I can't remember all of them, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of these to see what it's gonna be like moving forward. And then also get some of these um, new cards. They're called um, Bestiary. Bestiary. Pretty sure. Okay, so we have Temple of Love. I am the source. Hmm. We also have. conscious on the back. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to get some of these. And then I'll get some of us. And then we'll close. Okay. So, I do want to talk about this while I'm kind of shuffling this here. So, the Temple of Love here, I feel like there's definitely going to be a, like a new opportunity for love in this situation, but this couldn't be in the way of, I mean, it could be in the way of romantic, but I'm talking about just love. Bringing love into the situation here is, is something that I feel like is going to, um, with this I am source as well and conscience. I feel like you and this person have a, well, that wanted to come out. I feel like you and this person have a, a deep soul connection of some sort. Like I said, these strings are attached here. Whichever way, shape, or form that is, I do feel like the two of you are attached in some kind of way. The conscious card is exactly, which is something I didn't mention, I don't know why, but it's the energy I feel overall with this person. They're like, you know, becoming conscious to the way that they acted here. And I think that you may be going through that as well because there are two people here on this card. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that very well because it's black. But there are two people here on this card. They're both touching their forehead and touching each other as if to say, with one another's hand on their forehead. So I want to understand you and I want you to understand me, okay? Moving forward. I want to bring love into the situation. I realize that on a spiritual level, guys, this person could be coming aware to maybe a spiritual type connection here or a way that you are in telepathically communicating in some kind of way becoming conscious or becoming online to one another. And because of that might be part of the reason they're wanting to bring, you know, all of this to the table and, and reconcile here in some way because of that energy that they're feeling. If that's not for you, then I just overall feel like that there's definitely an opportunity here for the both of you to come together, to clear things up, to realize that you both have the capability to be able to hash this out, find common ground here, and move forward whichever direction that you want to move forward in. There's definitely love here on the table for the both of you if you want it. And I feel as if definitely there's some rockiness that goes into this, some mountains that you possibly have to climb with this person. But I feel like your consciences are both on online. You know, you... This person is feeling in their conscious maybe some things that they don't, uh, you know, like I said, don't agree with. They wish they could change. You could be feeling the same way. And that's all going to come together here, okay? All this will come together. Um, we also have, yeah, everything is connected. <laughs> Imagine that. <gasps> Look at this, guys. Wow. I love synchronicities. They're so awesome. Look at these two cards. They look so freaking similar do they not that is crazy that is crazy so again <laughs> if you're in like this soul type connection then this is for you guys for sure i almost want to pull some more cards because of that um but definitely i feel like you and this person are very much so connected moving forward i think that they realize that and that's why they want to have this you know with the the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune to be together here. This is a direction of success, of opportunities, of positivity, of just 
you know, it's the will of fortune, a great fortune moving forward, you know, luck and um, change, a change in the situation. This person wants to have success here, wants to be able to change the situation. If, if you've been giving to this person more than this person's been giving to you, that's something else that they want to change here in the situation. Um, this, like I said, has not been an easy road for you and this person with this zigzag spider. You know, you've been kind of all over the place. Um, especially when it comes to your thought process and your mind. Especially if this person kind of had this disagreement come up and then they just kind of left. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Uh-huh. Conscious. It's hurting their conscious. Protected. Now, I'm not surprised that this came out because this whole reading was about you know, protecting yourself moving forward, what you need to know moving forward. And it says you are safe and divinely guided. I do feel like this connection is most certainly divinely guided. It says I am source. So this person, again, may be tapping into some of that now. Um, realizing their own power, you know, taking control in the situation. We also have boundaries on the bottom of the deck. Firm boundaries are needed now. This is telling me in Twin Flame. There it is. <laughs> there it is. That's what I was waiting for. We also have longing here. Someone is secretly yearning for me for you. Um, I do feel like these boundaries here is when this person comes in, you need to make sure that you're honest and open with your communication, but you also listen, okay? You may be in a very empowering kind of energy right now because of all this that took place here, especially if you're in divine feminine energy there, um, finding, finding your way, carrying your torch, and simmer down, <laughs> simmer down. If this happens, this person comes back in, you need to make sure that you, you know, it's, it's good to speak your truth, but you also need to listen to this person because always keep in mind, guys, that you have your own projection and that's gonna be whatever you pro you're projecting is, is gonna be your perception of what took place here, okay? So you have your perception, this person has their perception, and that's where you kind of come together and find that equal ground. But you need to be loving in this situation if you want things to you know, play out to where this wheel of fortune is gonna take place here, to where you're gonna have a positive direction um, and a change in this situation. You're, you, you have to listen just as much as you're, as you're um, talking, you know, in a way. I don't know why I got distracted. I want to pull some of these. I don't know why I couldn't get them out either. These are little key cards. I wasn't planning on this, but here we go. <laughs> that happens. So let's see what comes out. Innocent. Don't pretend like you're innocent in this situation, even if you feel that way because this person's the one that busted out. You know, if this person left, there's two sides, like I said, two perceptions to every story. Just don't feel, if you're sitting there when this conversation takes place, if that's what this is, and you're thinking to yourself, nope, that's not right. Nope, I didn't do that. Nope, that, and you, you feel the need to defend everything that this person says. Take a breather. <laughs> Take a breather and calm down. This person has a different perception about what took place. You'll get your opportunity, you know, to speak your truth as well. And then that common ground can take place. Success will be, will happen here. Flowing. Yeah, be with the flow of this. Be artistic. Be with nature. Dissolve into here. Um... These cards are kind of telling me that you right now in this moment in time that you need to get into a place to where you're really connected with Mother Nature possibly so that you can ground yourself. We're in Mercury retrograde, guys. Communication's coming up. Exes are coming back. People are coming back from your past. Reconciliations are happening. Conversation's crazy. So 
you need to really make sure that you're grounding your energy, you're grounding yourself and staying balanced, do a lot of meditation, um, whatever it is that you need to, to stay connected, okay? Dissolve into here. Understanding, yep, needs to take place, be firmer. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Just because I went through that spill about how you need to make sure that you're listening doesn't mean that you can't speak your truth. Be honest, okay? Be honest and accept what is. Whatever this person says to you, you need to accept what they're saying because that's the truth of what they're saying. If they truly believe it happened in so-and-so way, then you need to just accept that, that, that they feel that way, that it's happened in that way. Even if your perception's different, you need to be able to go through that understanding with one another, you know, so that you can find that common ground and have success. Be still, keep quiet. Again, <laughs> I am good enough in abundance. Yeah, keep that in mind as well. You are good enough. Okay, I'm going to get some initials so we can close. Actually, I'm going to leave you with the... Um, I'm gonna leave you with it fast from spirit real quick. I'm gonna get some. I'm going to pull some. Libra maybe so, or you know, Libra is also about harmony <laughs> and connection, you know, balancing things it's out. It's like justice and tarot. So definitely justice is gonna take place here. You're gonna you're gonna find that justice that you you may have been looking for. Just remember that it doesn't always come in the form that we want it to. <laughs> We ask for things, but it doesn't mean we're going to get them exactly how we expected. But it will always be for your highest good. Okay. So what message is spirit? Despair. Let me get one more. One more, please. Service. Okay. Contentment is on the back of the deck. I saw that twice. You need to be... That's the kind of energy you need to kind of go in with here is that contentment here. Despair. I need your divine inner inner I need your divine interception right now. Oh great spirit, lift your darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. This is what you need to kind of put yourself in, the energy you need to be in when this person comes in, okay? Um whatever's for your highest good, know that whatever's taking place or happening, as long as you're speaking your truth and you're being still and listening, you know, in that way and, and having empathy there, then whatever's for your highest good will unfold, guys. Service. You stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. Again, this is that same energy that I just keep repeating over and over of you being in that open, accepting space, even if you disagree with it, you know, finding that solid ground, solid ground there, you know, Libra's about balance, seeing the good, seeing the bad, that duality that takes place, balance that takes place. You know, and you need to be open and accept that. You also have that Six of Pentacles here. It's the same thing. Okay. Well, we had F that jumped way out of the bowl. <laughs> way out of the bowl. Someone might have just cussed. <laughs> um, we also have big letters are W, L, O. We have the number five. Not surprised. Number five is about change. You had all those fives here. It's also the tower. Five, five, five. Um, so yeah, definitely the number five guys, <laughs> there's going to be a change that takes place here. Okay. But I do feel like there's going to be harmony and peace on the other side of that. We have, um, we have flow. So flow, flow with the ha what's happening here. We have two W's, an O, an L, an F, S, B, K, T, heart, Heart. We have TF if you're on the twin flame journey. There you go. We also have I and L. Okay, so if y'all see anything that I'm not just pointing out, I only really point out the things that I'm seeing. Um, take it slow here. We also have slow. So 
take it slow here in this, um, really listen to each other and just take your time here, okay? Moving forward. Um, it is what it is. There's it is in the bowl. There's two hearts. I think that's significant here with that with the connection itself. You know, beings that um, we seen we saw all this connected energy here. We also have wow. <laughs> you might walk away from this going wow, like that was that was what I needed or, or that was what I've been waiting for. Um, the change to take place here. Hmm. That's all I'm seeing, guys. I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see what's here. And if y'all see anything I don't see, please put it in the description box for someone. Um, much appreciated. Also, this, well, no, it couldn't. I'm not going to lie. I was going to say that could look like a seven, but it's not. So I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that it resonates and I hope that it makes sense to you. Um, and... Sorry, I'm still looking in the bowl here. <laughs> so, um, oh, we have teal. T-I-L-L. -L. Teal. Okay, leaving you there. Um, oh, we have... We have willow. I don't know if that's important to somebody. Um, but it's in the bowl. Okay. Now I'm going to leave you here. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated and made sense. Um, if you want a personal reading from me, the description for that is down below. Shoot me an email and I'll send you one back. I'm going to start those in June. I'm not doing any right now. Um, but when June comes around, I'm going to I'm gonna start those. And um, just send me an email and I'll put you on the book. And that's all I have, guys. Thanks for being here. And thanks for your kindness and your support and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hey, Balto. So if you chose the black, obviously, obsidian, because <laughs> obsidian is black, pyramid, <laughs> then this will be your reading. Um, so... Let's figure out what's going on in your love life here. And then also, this is the original Right Away Tarot. I've actually been really liking this deck recently for some reason. I've just been using it a lot. Um, so this is going to basically just tell me kind of what's overall going on in your love life, what you need to know, possibly what's coming towards you, what's just kind of the energy is surrounding you at this moment, um, how you can move forward from where you are for your highest good, okay? So, I'm going to get tarot, then we're going to get some oracles, then we'll get some advice, and some initials to close, okay? So, this is a newer deck, <laughs> if you can't tell. It's a little stiff steel. I'm working on it. Not too bad. I like the way that it shuffles, though. There may be some hard truths in this pile, so be aware. <laughs> um, I did see some cards that kind of insinuated that, so I'm going to take that into consideration moving forward. So, pile two, spirit. Tell me about top pile two. What do they need to know? My love life moving forward. What do they need to know? Pile two. Pile two, spirit. What do they need to know? Moving forward. For their house, good. Well, I saw that. I saw that as well when I was shuffling. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Oops. Okay, Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ooh, with the Ace of Pentacles. Get one more. And I do believe that you're being faced with some decisions right now, and I feel like that you are kind of stuck on the way things maybe happened in the past. You could be, there could be a possibility to relive some things of the past. And you may be kind of, you're gonna be faced with a decision here, okay? I think this is something that you've been carrying for a long time, making this decision. And I think that you're wanting to release this. And in order to, to start a new cycle here, 
with someone I think that is from your past here, there's definitely a lot of things that you need to let go of. A lot of illusions that may be in the way and um, how you're going to give in this situation. Why is the tennis, why is the six of pentacles here? Two cards came out. There's the ace of wands, so two aces already. We also have the page of cups, okay. This always happens to me, guys. The pile one and two may be connected. <laughs> this is a whole different tarot deck. I'm getting kind of this, yes, definitely I'm getting kind of similar energies, just so you're aware. So, this always happens um, in my readings. Again, <laughs> you, are, you have an opportunity that's coming up here, okay? You have an opportunity to give to someone. And I feel like the way that you're looking at this opportunity, this Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning, new start, new project, new spark, um, some kind of s s excitement that's gonna take place here that you could possibly be even emotionally overwhelmed about, okay? This could be the reason that you have not been giving in the past in the way that I think that possibly you wanted to, you may have been too overwhelmed or too, there's too much and there's too much excitement here. When you get the page of, page of cups in reverse, it's someone that is very emotionally, it's big, okay? There's a, a big emotional outburst, if you will, in a way. That ace of wands is like that spontaneous, 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 Oh my goodness gracious. Mercury retrograde, guys. Spontaneity. I know that doesn't sound right, but that's as good as it's gonna get, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Excitement, enthusiasm, when it comes to a passionate new start, a new beginning or a new something. And pertaining to love is because what's what the reading is about. I feel like that this right here is something that you feel as if you have a hard time emotionally balancing yourself out with. So you may have kind of a, maybe you were, maybe you were feeling, this is going to be very narrowed down. <laughs> you could possibly been, have been feeling like you weren't giving in the same way someone else was giving in a, in a particular part of this relationship. This could be a passionate part in this relationship, okay? And that has been something that has been kind of holding you back or something that you're worried about moving forward. Does this make sense? You'll know if it's your if it's your story, <laughs> you'll know it makes sense what what makes sense there, okay? You feel as if maybe it was one-sided. You know, you were not offering as much as the other person was offering in the connection when it comes to the enthusiasm about it. Um, yeah. So you're at this point where you're focused on that a lot. You're focused on that a whole lot. You may also be wanting some kind of passionate new beginning with this person, but worried about where they are emotionally as well. You're sitting in this place with this nine of wands to where you're sitting there saying, okay, okay. Because you go from the nine to ten here. So the nine is what's holding you back from being able to have this closing out of the cycle, letting go of the wands that you feel. Okay. So you're sitting here at the nine of, nine of wands. You know, it's the wounded, wounded warrior there. And you're like, okay, I've been through hell here. <laughs> Mentally, physically, I've been through hell in this situation, and I'm sitting here, barely hanging in there, trusting in only my faith that that I have what I need to move forward here, or that things are going to work out in my favor, but I have all these different obstacles here, all these different illusions. You know, I want to offer something, but look at all these different choices that I have. I could go this route, I could go this route, I could go this route. Well, 
You hear that plane? <laughs> but I don't know how I'm going to come in here. I don't know what, which direction, which cup I should take. Should I, should I bring the Ace of Pentacles in this way? Should I bring the Ace of Pentacles in that way? And there's also illusions behind that, right? Because you're thinking to yourself, what if? So, if I choose this, what if this happens? If I choose this, what if this happens? And you're, and you're at this nine of ones because you're like saying, I have to choose something. I have all these options, but I got to choose something. And I'm here at the nine of wands sitting here going, okay, I have to have courage and faith that whatever I choose is going to be the right choice moving forward, right? So why is the Ten of Wands here? The Ten of Wands in reverse is saying, well, you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. <laughs> it's almost like it's this place that you're saying, okay, this is, I'm, I need to have a change here because I can't carry these wands any longer. I need to let this go. And the Ace of Pentacles comes up to say, hey, you need to take a break. You need to, you know, take yourself out of the situation because you're working too hard about this. You're work overworking yourself here when it comes to carrying all these wands, this burden that you've been carrying. You're overworking yourself. That's possibly one of the reasons that you're having such a hard time making a choice, making a decision. You're overanalyzing, overthinking everything, right? Okay, so why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles. So you want, this is, this is Taurus energy, Queen of Pentacles here. It's almost like you want a new opportunity here, a new beginning. But the Queen of Pentacles, when she comes up in reverse, this is about a couple of things, okay? This, and I'm gonna get a clarifier for it as well, but this is a selfish energy in the way of you could feel as if you brought a, a pinnacle to this Ace of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, Queen of if you brought an Ace of Pentacles to this Queen of Pentacles, they may, you may feel as if this person is just selfish in their ways or, or more self-focused. That's interesting. I'm gonna keep going before I say any more. I wanna narrow that down. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? Okay. Wow, look at that. The Two of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is something, this is a, okay, 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 okay. This is a partnership here that you did not invest in in the past. You chose in the past not to invest in this person. And I think you're afraid to bring this Ace of Pentacles here because you don't know how this Queen of Pentacles is going to react to that. But I'm gonna get some clarifiers here. You may be wanting to take a break even from maybe a work situation here. Um, or working on yourself, even if you've been just working on yourself, needing to take a break when it comes to that. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Whoa. Um. <laughs> Creep. Not a wands. Exactly. Okay. So the past situation that you're staying focused on, on here where you, you disconnected from this person and decided that it's not something that you wanted to invest your time or your energy into. You may feel as if if you bring this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity, or if you come in with a new beginning here, that this Queen of Pentacles is going to be someone with the, that recognizes you as this Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? Reckless. Um, they may be a little angry even. They could be frustrated with you. This is something that you're worried about, okay? So, someone that is not going to give to you anymore. I don't know why that popped out. Emperor in reverse. Y'all might need to go watch pile one. Um, <laughs> for real. This person, you may see them as someone that may be more controlling when it comes to, to the way they give to you. 
compared to the way they were before because of whatever happened here in the past or the way that you disconnected from them in the past and not wanting to invest in them. Um, tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah. <laughs> Go watch part one. <laughs> For real. Um, the Five of Wands here. We've got so many of the same cards coming out, guys. The Five of Wands. Um, sorry. Whenever I'm like, whenever that happens and, and two piles are so similar, it's like one person and the other person. It's like um, I think about the other pile and I think about things that I'm seeing from pile one that I didn't see in pile one. <laughs> I'm seeing it now. And part of it is the five of, five of wands being here, which came up in pile one. Um, so this is about there being a disagreement or a struggle that's taking place here. Some kind of chaotic situation that's happening. And it's happening here for you internally, I feel like, because you've been carrying this, these wands. You're ready for a change to take place here. You may be tired of working on yourself or working by yourself in some kind of situation. And this could even be possibly, you know, the disagreement here is that you're working too much and you may need to take a break. Now, when I'm saying you're working on something, this could be working just on yourself or this could be just work period, okay? But something that you're needing to take a break of and something that you need to change in. And you have this opportunity that you could have. I want to know more. Whew, that stuff is getting in my face. I want to know more about the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So this is something that you've been holding on to. This is something that you're saving or you're wanting to hold on to. Possibilities, opportunities, prosperity, abundance, um, career opportunities even. When it comes to this Queen of Pentacles and you want to come in and, and gain something here. Whatever that looks like for you. Whatever that is that you're wanting to come in and gain. But you're afraid about this Queen of Pentacles being in an energy of anger or frustration. Hmm. Okay, so why is the Nine of Wands here? King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> okay, so I can read this in different, I'm just going to tell you how I'm reading it. There's no point in telling you how I'm not going to read it. <laughs> so the King of Wands, when it comes up in reverse, is telling me here that you may have actually tried to control the situation in the past and you're realizing now that all that has done has caused you stress and incapable of making a choice and that's kind of like where you want to find you want to move forward and make a decision here because you're having such a hard time holding on to all of this. You're not being able to really like put it all together in your mind the way that you're wanting. And I think that's what you've been trying to do here. So you've been trying to really come up with a structured plan, if you will, in some kind of way in your mind. And, and you're having a hard time being able to do that. Or you feel really tired or exhausted trying to do that. And so you're saying, I need to quit focusing on this here. I need to quit fo focusing on what happened in the past and try to move forward and risk something when it comes to this new opportunity. Risk this Queen of Pentacles being frustrated or being angry because you're tired of being stuck. And you want to get out of that space. You want to get out of this five of, of wands, this chaotic situation. Feeling like you don't have any security here, I think, is a big part of this moving forward. Feeling like you don't have any security in this situation with this Queen of Pentacles energy is, is something that's keeping you stuck. So... What about this ace, ace of Wands? Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Yeah. The Two of Wands in reverse. <laughs> you go from the Ace to the Two. So there's a fear here, right? 
there's a fear here that you don't know if if you're gonna really get what you're wanting you may have a thought or idea that you want to bring to someone that you've had a romantic connection with okay that you haven't given to in the past you disconnected from this person because you didn't see any kind of investment there and now you're going back and you're and you've been working on something constantly constantly and constantly but it's not structuring out in the way that you want it to okay so you have a chance you have an opportunity that you could take to go back to this queen of pentacles but you don't know what kind of energy this queen of pentacles is going to be in and if that opportunity is going to play out but you kind of feel as if you kind of want to now you're feeling as if this is something that you want to hold on to because you see this queen of pentacles as somebody that can help offer new opportunities this is just a strange reading okay i hope it's making sense to you guys it doesn't ever make sense to me until i go back and watch it so tell me more about the two of wands being in reverse what is this fear the knight of cups in reverse yeah i think that you walked away from this queen of pentacles in the past okay when the knight of cups is in reverse it's saying i'm not offering you my cup i'm gonna walk away with it <laughs> It's also being afraid that maybe things aren't as exactly as they seem. And maybe this Queen of Pentacles doesn't want to come in and, and maybe this Queen of Pentacles doesn't feel the same as, as they did. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse for? The world. You may be afraid that this is done, that that's done with. You may be afraid this Queen of Pentacles, because you see them in this selfish energy, may not be giving to you like they were in the past, okay? And you're saying, now it's like you need this Queen of Pentacles. Or you want to hold on to this, this possibility for new opportunities. Tell me more about the four of, okay, two cards come out. The High Priestess and the Empress, wow, wow. Okay, now that makes sense. You want to hold on to this Queen of Pentacles because you see this Queen of Pentacles as the Empress and the High Priestess. These are very divine feminine energies here, guys. This is about someone that is very wise, very strong, but very loving and supportive. And, you know, is capable of birthing, of birthing things into reality capable of creating things with new opportunities, um, growth, you know, capable of, of creating growth. And the high priestess is someone that, and I think this is part of it as well. I think that you're afraid in a way because you do see this person as the high priestess, someone that knows things, okay, can read you. <laughs> the high priestess can read you. She knows if you're lying. She knows if you're telling the truth. And if you're trying to keep anything here from this from this person, good luck because it's not going to work out the way you want. <laughs> She's going to see right through you. You know, this is someone that has a very high intuition and is also got um, a mysterious nature behind them. Okay? Very wise though. There's a mysterious nature there because you can't read this person. You don't know what this person is capable of. And I think that that's something, and uniquely, that's something that you want a, somebody you want to hold on to, but also somebody that you're very intimidated by or very scared of in some kind of way. Okay. And the, I think that, honestly, you may be afraid of what kind of energy this person is in when you come towards them or wanting this this opportunity here because i think you're afraid of them being in a bad energy you don't want to bring you don't want to come to <laughs> the queen of pentacles the high priestess and the empress all in reverse you don't want to go to somebody like that because you're gonna have to be very brave and have some know exactly what you want and have a strong emphasis of power behind you if you're coming to somebody like that and I think that's one of the things that you're afraid of. 
I think that you're afraid of this person standing up for themselves in some kind of way and you not be able to, you're not capable of pulling the wool over their eyes as maybe that you did in the past. And I think that there may be some regret here of how you disconnected from this person because in the past you didn't see any kind of investment playing out. You didn't see that there was going to be something that a reward for this connection here in the long in the long run. Any kind of investments in the long run when it comes to this this partnership here. You may be someone that is strong in your um, your air energy right now. So you may have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your chart. We have Aquarius here with the King of Swords because. This, the way that it's playing out for me, is very structured and trying to be very practical and trying to be very um, controlling. Wanting to have, you know, um, played out a laid out plan here. But all this is chaotic. What's getting in the way of it is, is all this. Hmm. Okay. I want to get one more. What's the five of wands here for? The tower. Go watch pile one. <laughs> Go watch pile one. I'm telling you. Okay, so the tower here for the five of, of wands. So... Chaos, chaos, right? There's some kind of disagreement that happened here. And I think it has a lot to do with possibly you wanting to... This Eight of Pentacles here is the one that I'm, I'm like struggling to really bring out. If this is like a spiritual type thing, then this is a card of suppressing that suppressing your spirituality. And that might be a burden that you've been carrying here. That might be the disagreement that you and this person had. So for instance, if this person said anything to you about your spirituality or about this connection, then that's something I think that maybe possibly you've been carrying along with you that you've been trying to structure and you can't really structure that kind of thing because it's not something that's tangible. You know, it's a out there energy. And you may have, ha if you, especially if you are this King of Swords, you've had a hard time really putting yourself outside of stability, something that you can, you know, stay sturdy on the ground with. Because the spirituality is not that. You really have to think outside of the norm, outside of the box, kind of let your mind open itself up to freedom. So if that's you, and this has been you here with opening your mind up to different things, and that's something that you've, you've put up a boundary there and said, you know, I can't, I, I'm this king of swords and I can't open my mind up like that. <laughs> I have to stay structured. I have to stay focused. I have to stay in this place. And so you've been suppressing the spirituality, this call, right? This call to this connection or the way of sort of this connection, whatever that is. But you've been carrying it for so long. And, and now you know that there has to be some kind of change there. You have to kind of let go of suppressing this. And that's what the conflict is. And that's why the tower's here. If not... If that's, if that's not you, then this has to pertain to, or it could be both, but this has to pertain to um, whatever you, it was that you've really wanted to work on, on yourself, you're overwhelmed at this point with, and you want to have a change there because it's maybe not playing out in the way that you wanted it to. And you're gearing up because you feel like this is going to be a five of ones, going to this person will be five of ones because you're sitting at an opposition, right? And... You're afraid that there's going to be a struggle or ego clash because of the way you maybe dealt with this person in the past. And you're expecting a tower moment. Or you will, you're actually wanting to cause the tower moment in itself, you know? Why is the tower here? Why is it, 
the star in reverse. Wow. So you're, you're worried about this. You have a lack of faith here. You're worried about this being a closed door, okay? And you're afraid of this tower moment because of this conflict. So if you've had conflict with this person in the past because maybe you've disconnected from them, you walked away from them, they could have offered you something and you turned them down. And you're afraid that because that happened and the way that you kind of interacted with this person in the past, you this could have been a relationship, guys, that you had an Ace of Wands type of relationship with. Okay, so there was excitement there, fun, spont, spon, spont, good. God, I cannot say it. <laughs> I cannot say it. It was very spontaneous and passionate and you know all that stuff was there but the emotions weren't there or this person had too too many like emotional um outburst if you will like too much emotion or too much dependent dependency on it so you kind of walked away from it or you felt like that part of it the emotional aspect was just one-sided so you walked away from it you chose to not offer your cup anymore and you close this out and now because of that you're afraid that things have changed since then so you're kind of wanting to or maybe that was just a bad way you did it wrong it's like you're going back and you're thinking uh this is i swear guys go watch poem one it's like you're going back and you're saying boy i handled that completely wrong i shouldn't have handled that that way because now I have this tower that's taking place in my life and I can't go to this person in the way that I want to. I should have held on to that. Now I don't know how this person is going to react because I came in, you possibly could come in, have come in like this Knight of Wands energy. That's a hot and cold energy. That's someone that comes in for a good time and not a long time. <laughs> that kind of energy. Um, when it came to this Queen of Pentacles, and now you're afraid of coming back in and how they're going to react to you in that situation. So, tell me more. I want to know more about this past that you're stuck on. I want to get some clarifiers for these that will tell me a little more, and then we'll get some oracles. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? Oh, whoa. Okay. They didn't come out, but I just saw the Nine of Swords and the Eight of, Eight of Wands. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? So you could possibly have, you're worried about how quick how quick you moved away from this person. And you know what I mean? Like you're worried about any kind of communication that you shared with this person that was very quick. Um, you have anxiety about that in a way. It's something that you think about in the past. Why is the, okay, the hangman, yeah, okay. So you have, I feel like, I feel like you're wanting to get yourself, you're having this introspection here, right? You're kind of, you're putting yourself up here on this post, trying to sit and think about the past, how things happened and how things were disconnected. And in a way, you're kind of wanting to break yourself free from feeling stuck, okay? This is an energy of being stuck in the past. Then you have the Two of Cups to clarify that. So you're contemplating or, or analyzing the disconnect here and how it all unfolded, how it took place, how it happened. And I do believe the reason that you're doing that is because you're trying to gain this, this new way of getting yourself unstuck in this situation. Because now you look back and you think this may be something that you want to hold on to. So why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? The King of Wands. So you didn't feel as if you know, the King of Wands is the King of Wands is somebody that wants to pursue their their desires, wants to pursue their dreams, their goals. Right? He goes after those those things. He's on the go. 
and I'm getting that here and I'm getting that over here as well. So with the seven of pentacles being here in reverse to for that to clarify that, it's basically saying that you didn't want to invest in this connection because you didn't see it having any reward there. So you took a you took control and moved towards your other options or goals, whatever that was for you. King of Wands, please. Yeah. Three of Wands in reverse. So you have Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, and Three of Wands. Two of them are in reverse. So this is you not being able to really see how this would have been beneficial to you in any kind of way. It wasn't part of what you felt like would be able to put you in this King of Wands energy. Or this could be a person that you felt like you couldn't invest into this connection with because of this other person that's here. You couldn't see how that was that would even play out. I can't even, you know, I, I can't see how we even make it past this obstacle that's here. That kind of energy. The bottom of the deck, imagine that. You have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. And Go watch Pile 1. I'm telling you, Pile 1 is, the other, is this person. Pile 1 is the Queen of Pentacles, guys, for sure. For sure. Lovers. Temperance and the Lovers. Oh my gosh, it's crazy how synchronistic Paul 1 and 2 are. You want to come out from being feeling like you've either left this person out in the cold, which you definitely did, or you feel left out in the cold. Now you're in this energy of seeing how this, this is, you and this person can play out. So you disconnected from the Two of Cups in reverse in the past, you know, and now you're seeing it as the lovers. That's balance. That's a temptation of the heart as well. So you may feel this person, especially if this is a spiritual type thing, you may feel this tug, this pull towards this person from the heart space, you know? But this is a card of decisions and it's upright. So it's saying that you're wanting to choose this partnership or you're sitting at a crossroads here of what you need to do moving forward. You definitely want balance. You want to be able to keep yourself grounded, but yet emotionally for sure you want to be able to find that middle ground right the ace of swords in reverse because you're still clouded there's still some clouded judgment that's happening you're still trying to formulate a plan you can't see it just quite yet but you know that you this is what you're wanting there's a lot of fear that's holding you back naturally it's always fear that's holding us back <laughs> fear of how this other person would react this right here is overall energy. So again, this is fear holding you back. This this is a card of all these swords being around you. You're blindfolded. You're tied. But you're tied. But she's not really tied. See how loose these this thread is. She can actually get herself out of this anytime she wants. It's not that you're physically not capable of doing what you want. It's that you mentally aren't there. You mentally can't see how this is going to unfold or play out. Because there's illusions, there's anxieties, there's fears of what will be that's holding you back from being able to take that leap forward, from being, from being able to go ahead and, and do what you're wanting to do here. I didn't do this for Paul 1, but I'm actually going to get some message cards because I'm curious of what this person would say. Because there's a lot of anxiety around that, what this person's reaction would be. You may have even, this is kind of weird, but you may have even um, tiptoed around that to this person just to fill them out in some kind of way before you kind of come, come to them, see what kind of energy they're in. A new sprout. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a new beginning that's going to take place here. Or that could, let's say that. Because the aces are opportunities. That's not meaning it's going to happen. It's meaning that you have an opportunity for something to take place. Temple of Love. This came out in Pile 1. Bring love into the situation. I do feel like you are tangled up with this person in some kind of way. 
infinite, oh God, I'm gonna butcher this. Shilkum, Shilkum, Shilkum. Infinite Shilkum, okay. I do feel like that you are, this says ancestral warmth at the bottom. I feel like you are very connected with this person in some kind of way. And I think that you may be recognizing that. Or maybe it's just why they're in your life. Or the possibilities of why they're in your life. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. I don't know why I keep, I keep hearing that in my head. Oh, I've never seen this one. Align your inner compass, common raven, guys. Align your inner compass. What's holding you back from being able to have this new beginning with this person? What's keeping you, this came out in pile one, everything is connected, <laughs> good grief. What's keeping you back from this, okay? Align in your compass means that your inner compass, so you really need to lack that temperance there. Pay attention to what you feel internally about what you could do moving forward to better this situation and take your control back. Don't let power be the, get the best of you. Power keeps us, power, um, fear. Fear keeps us from capable of not being able to recognize our own power in situations, you know? Just take control here. This is a call for you to take control. See the higher, the higher perspective here, you know? You also may have some, um, this is weird, but you may have some psychic insights when it comes to this person and how things will play out. And I think that that, that is, this came up in a, a reading a while back, I think. I think that's playing a role into making this decision. I think if you do, if you feel those, or the, it could be the, you know, you feel intertwined with this person intuitively, but you picking up on things psychically for you and not understanding that, not knowing what you see or why you see that play out the way it does, I think is hindering your ability to be able to listen to your inner compass about what direction you should take. And you're having a hard time understanding if that's illusion or if that's you foreseeing something unfolding. And it causes you this seven of, of cups. Now I don't know what to do. Is this illusion or is this real? You need to, in order to find the answers there, um, you can sit in, well, that wanted to come out awesome self for a little while. You can sit in meditation and ask spirit your question and meditate on it and see what comes to mind. You know, ask them for a peaceful resolution, ask them for whatever's for your highest good and stick with it. If you're having a struggle there, if you're struggling with that, what would this person say to Paul too if they could say anything? Just being near you is intoxicating. Well, they still feel about you a certain way. <laughs> they still feel about you that way. Um. We need to let each other go. I need to focus on my healing. <laughs> I love you unconditionally. I do feel like this person has, um, especially if they're in that Empress energy, they have that understanding of unconditional love and the purpose for it. You also had Temple of Love here for your oracles. I feel like this person recognizes empathy. I think this person carries empathy for you. I do wish you well. I replay our conversations over and over. I think this I regret lying to you. I think this person Bottom of the deck, you're so easy to see through. <laughs> That's funny because we talked about this. Um, we also have, I never used to look at you that way and I was careless with you. This person definitely has um, 
some stuff that they're working through. And that's why it says I need to focus on my healing. I feel like this person, because you walked away and disconnected here, I do feel like this person's trying to let you go or in the process of still trying to let you go. They do may have a problem with replaying things over and over in their head to try to do that in order to do that. Um, but I do think that they're focusing on their healing, you know, moving forward. I think they wish you well. I do think that they love you unconditionally. And I do think that they can probably see straight through you in some kind of way. I want to know what this I regret lying to you is about, though. What is this I regret? Okay. Justice. Justice. Huh. I regret lying to you. What is that about? What is justice here for? I regret lying to you. What is that? Woo! That flew up, didn't it? Oh. Three of Cups in reverse. This is a card of alone, isolation, independence. Tell me more about that. This is very close to the universe here for you. Oh. This person feels. There's the Page of Pentacles. This is a solid new start. Good news coming your way. This person lied to you about how they felt with you. Hmm. I think this person may have said to you that... Okay, hear me out. I think this person is feeling a lack of emotional fulfillment. I think this person lied to you in a way I, I feel as if they maybe have acted like they were fine being independent or alone um, or whatever that was, parting ways, and I don't feel like they were. I feel like the Ten of Cups, this is a wish come true. I felt, I feel like this person felt as if this is an emotional wish come true. You know, emotional fulfillment. I feel like this person felt as if you were like an emotional fulfillment, emotional and spiritual fulfillment. And they could have told you that they don't want this or they, they're okay by themselves. But that's not true. This person wants this. This is, this is having someone, okay? Having someone, having that happily ever after. And I feel like, yeah. I feel like this person, if they've told you, I'm okay by myself, I'm fine alone, I don't need anybody, I don't want anybody, that's not true. They really want justice in, in this emotional fulfillment. They, they want to have yeah, they want to have this emotional fulfillment in their life. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get some advice for you guys. And then we'll get some charms. Oh my gosh. I just saw 111 on the timer. So that, that means that you're on the right path. Just listen to your gut and your heart. Let's see what else we have. Not the timer, the clock. It's one, one, one right now. Woo, vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. We talked about this in pile one. Um, this is very important here because I do feel like this is the problem. This is the problem. 
um, this is what you're focused on. Being vulnerable with this person is something that you're worried about. And this couldn't just be Mrs. Person. You may be feeling that way about everybody. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. You may be aware of that now. Or you maybe have put the pieces of the puzzle together, you know, putting the pieces together as as you go. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. This is a call for you to trust in what's moving forward with vulnerability, trust, and a spiritual lesson. This is definitely something that you need to go through or experience for your growth. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. We have obstacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, indecision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Regret is under that. So, so you're reading. You know, we saw that decision with the lovers there. Choosing what you're going to do moving forward. Wow. I'm going to get some um, wild offering oracles for it fast real quick. We have trust or truth. Trust and truth. Wow. Guys. And then mistakes. So significant. Oh, and calmness is on the bottom of the deck. So stay calm in the situation. That This was a spiritual lesson. You can trust this situation. Forgiveness needs to take place here moving forward. Um, for this person to, for you and this person to be able to find that solid ground it's the obstacle that you need to go through. This is a spiritual lesson that you're learning here in your life. Um, for growth, truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Again, this is this whole thing about you trusting and being vulnerable here, being open and honest in sharing your truth here and listening to the other person's truth. And this is the message that came through in pile one. You're, you're going to have this projection. Your projection of what happened here is going to be your perception moving forward. So if you're projecting that this person's feeling this way towards you, then your perception moving forward, you're going to be in that space. So what is that going to cause you? What, what is a result of that? What is a result of what you are, what your perception is? This person's going to be closed off. This person's going to be upset. They're going to be angry with me. You know, they're going to see straight through me. They're going to feel like I'm lying to them. They're going to feel this way or that way. So if you go into this with, with that perception, then that's the way that, that this whole thing is going to be playing out. It's not going to be vulnerable. It's not going to be trustworthy. It's not going to be honest. And forgiveness could, even if the words are spoke, the, the feeling that forgiveness may not unfold. You really need to let yourself be vulnerable and listen to this person's perception of what happened here and your perception of what happened here and find that middle ground. That's what justice is. Finding that middle place where you can have harmony and peace moving forward. Okay, that's what needs to happen here. Um, mistakes. Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so that he or she feels loved no matter what. If you feel as if that you've made mistakes in the past, this could be with your communication because that came out in your reading. This could be in the way that you responded to a situation. That came out in your reading. If you feel like you're in a place to where you made mistakes and you want to be able to move forward and move out of that, you have to accept that, yes, I made mistakes in this situation. Forgive yourself first because you cannot forgive this person until you forgive yourself first. Say that, you, yes, I made mistakes in this situation. I feel like this person is going to be open to that. This person sees through you, yes. And they, if they do see through you and they see that you're coming from a good place, they'll see that. And recognize that as being able to trust this situation themselves. I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. And I feel like these mistakes will be forgiven here. If you're, if you're able to be vulnerable and share your truth. I do think this person will be open to it. Okay? Moving forward. 
calmness. I really want to read this. And courage is under that. Wow. And love. And intention. <laughs> I mean, we could go on forever and ever. That's crazy. I'm going to read these. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it. Don't worry. All will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Div Dear divine, may I feel your courage and will. You really need to ask, you know, the divine is always there to help us. Whoever that is for you, if that's God, your, you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, however you see it, whatever way that you believe in, they're always there even though we can't see them, to help us in situations. And you can always say, you know, I, I give this to you. I give this grievance here to you that I feel, and, I, and I'm asking you to help me in this situation moving forward so that you can have this calmness and this peace here and know that whatever's meant to happen will just unfold that the way that it's meant to, and you'll know what to do when it does happen. The inner divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence, so take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over me. That's exactly what I've been saying. Okay, let's get some of these key cards and some initials and we'll close. Y'all have the longest reading. Imagine that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Accept what is. Flowing. Be firmer. Don't. If you come in there with these solid boundaries, then this person's gonna feel that and they're not gonna feel like you're being open and vulnerable and trusting in them in the situation. So be aware of that. Dissolve into here. Paul one got some of these. I am good enough. Be with nature, ground yourself before this happens. Success will take place here. Be artistic, innocence and abundance. I'm pretty sure Paul one got most of those. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's get some initials real quick. So we have... Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot in the bowl. <laughs> there's a lot of numbers here. Okay. So these could spell something out. They could be initials or yours, your person's, whatever you, whatever, however you see it. Okay, so there's some, some what I'm seeing here. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing with these numbers. We have two, one, and six. It can maybe significant to you. If not... This could happen around the, well, dates. Those could be dates. Um, but what I'm seeing here is number two is those decisions that need to be made here. We saw decisions here twice. Decisions need to be made here. Balance needs to happen here. New beginnings are going to happen. And I feel like harmony is going to come out of this new beginning. Okay? We also have L, V, G, K, D, T, hashtag, um, Y, two Ys, M, I feel like two Ys are here because I think that you both have questions of why, um, and W. So this could spell something out. I don't know what the heck you would spell out of these letters. There's not a, there's not any vowels here. <laughs> um, hmm, that's interesting. Crazy. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Uh, this could be an M as well my I heard my opinion yeah stay with what is stay in your lane <laughs> just because it's your opinion your perception doesn't mean that it's this person's opinion or perception okay so keep that in mind again moving forward okay I'm gonna hold this up for you guys so you can see the letters if it if you see something that I didn't say can you put it in the description box, please? And I'm going to leave it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it resonates and makes sense. Um, I do feel like it was like, you know, very, very specific here. So I don't know. But I hope it resonates and I hope you got something out of it uh, moving forward. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your kindness and your support. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hey, pile three. Okay, pile three. So if you chose the Labradorite stone, it's exciting. I love this stone. This is probably, I think this is the biggest Labradorite that I have. <laughs> Sadly, I want to get this big old huge one for my desk, but um, 
haven't done it yet. I'm trying not to spend the money. No, I really want to. I <laughs> really want to. It's calling me. Um, okay, so in, this is the, um, the, what is this? <laughs> I always forget the name. So, because I get to talking. It's the um, Wandering Star Tarot. That's what it is. That's what it is. Wandering Star Tarot. Okay. So, pile three. So, this is going to be really kind of whatever message spirit's kind of wanting you to know the most um, about your situation moving forward. So, this could pertain to someone that you've been connected with. This could pertain to someone new. This could pertain to just your love situation, how you feel overall. Whatever that is, moving forward. This is what, um, this is the message spirits wanting you to know for your highest good, okay? Okay, so pile three. Pile three. What is pile three? The Nine of Swords. I already saw this once. Um, so you've been through it. You've been through it. I think that you've probably, you're at this point to where you've had a lot of anxieties, a lot of stress over your love situation. And you're just wanting to get out of it. You're just tired of it. You, um, it's like you may have even felt like depressed about this situation even. Um, you just, you're ready for things to change, right? You're ready to come out of this. You don't want to feel this stress anymore. You don't want to see these issues anymore you want things to improve here and you're just you're tired of it you could stay up at night you might have sleepless nights and you know you just want to get that good nights of sleep knowing that everything's okay that's the energy i'm feeling here okay so let's get more about it ace of wands in reverse so you may have lost an opportunity here or passed up an opportunity or you could even be in the energy of not knowing which direction to take moving forward when it comes to your love life. Like not knowing which direction to, you may feel like you have a lot of love to give or a lot of passion that you feel like you want to share with somebody, but not, not knowing which direction to take that. Um, I also feel like you have like a lack of energy in wanting something new because of all this stress and anxiety that you've been feeling in your situation, it's like, you know what? I don't even want anything new right now. I don't even want to move forward in, with anyone here. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm good at where I'm at, but you're not really good at where, you're, where you are. You know, you're kind of, I think you're distracted on maybe your life in general and how things have been unfolding or changing for you. And like, that's kind of what your focus is. But the want is there. You know, you have the star in reverse, the magician here in reverse, um, the three of swords. Mm -hmm. You've experienced some, some heartbreak, definitely. You're in, a, you're in a, well, to be completely honest, you're not, you're not in a very good place. Because you don't feel like you, you may have feel like you've lost everything that you needed or everything that you had. You're kind of in a hope, hopelessness. Um, you feel like you, this is a card of there being despair, not seeing how things can play out for you, not feeling like you're gonna have opportunities moving forward. But it's a, it's a, these are the barriers that are here. You know, the magician in reverse is telling me that there may be some communication blocks or you may have felt like you've been deceived or, yeah, you may feel as, as if you've been deceived in a situation. This is a, also a card of um, just not planning anything. You're not planning anything. It's like you're still going through this three of swords. You're still feeling this heartbreak, you know? You could have just lost an opportunity with someone. And now you're just saying to yourself, 
I don't know that I'll ever get another opportunity with that person. That door is maybe closed. And then you feel like you don't have any way of changing this situation. So you're just stuck in this grief, in this Three of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords? Okay. Page of Wands. You, you have this inspiration, you know, to where you kind of want to make new plans. You know, you're kind of inspired to, and the inspiration, unfortunately, is, is coming from this. The inspiration is coming from feeling stressed out, you know, wanting to relieve the stress, wanting to not feel that way anymore. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? The devil. So you're, you, you could possibly be obsessively thinking about the opportunities that you lost. You could, you could actually be thinking about, okay, I have to say this. <laughs> you could be using distractions at this moment in time in an unhealthy way, okay? You could be distracting, distracting yourself with things that aren't really good for you because you're so desperate to come out of this Nine of Swords energy. Why is the, sun, the star, in, okay, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You really have, you really feel like you've just lost a complete opportunity of something that you felt like was solid. This is a card of you resisting change because you can't see hope for the future. You don't see what the future holds in a good way. You can't see it like coming out of whatever it is that you're going through here. And so because of the hopelessness that you feel, you, you know, you're, you're resisting anything changing here. You're resisting the idea that this could be just a closed door and you're needing to break yourself free from that hopeless energy. Why is the creator in reverse? Okay, well, they just gave me a whole story. We have the Two of Wands, the Justice, the Six of Cups, the Knot of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Wow, okay. I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna put these back because I can't keep them all on the table, okay? So the, the, the magician here, when it comes up in reverse, is telling me there was a, you could have tried to plan something and it didn't work out, it backfired on you in some kind of way. This could be in communication wise um, or you may feel like there was just bad intentions or someone may feel as if they're bad intentions, but there's confusion. You're confused about how this played out, okay? You're confused about why it didn't work out in the way that you felt like it should have. So the Two of Wands is saying, these are again, this is another card of planning. So what happened in here? What happened in this situation? Well, you had a plan, okay, moving forward. You had a plan or you made a decision on how to progress the situation. You felt like things were unfair. There was some injustice that took place with a soulmate, possibly the Six of Cups, someone that you've been connected with, someone that you wanted to reconcile with, um, and the Knight of Swords. So there was some harsh communication that took place in the situation with this Knight of Swords energy. This is a card of there being impulsive or harsh communication that happened in the Five of Swords, which is that conflict. So something that you tried to have play out could have been a reconciliation with someone from your past. You felt like there was not a justice there. There was an unfairness that was done and it resulted in harsh communication, conflict, and this disagreement, the Five of Swords energy. It's a card of, you know, trouble. <laughs> this is a card of trouble. This is a card of having a huge disagreement with someone, a huge conflict taking place that can result in some kind of loss in this situation. So, what is the justice in reverse? Whoa, that flew right over, didn't it? Just see that? I have the full here. So, when the full comes up in reverse, 
it's telling me a couple of things. Poor judgment. Um, there's some, it's, you know, stupidity that plays into that. Uh, a lack of direction. Um, there could be just recklessness that's taking place. Um, with an approach to something, okay? A lack of restraint here. So something happened here that didn't go your way and you feel like, because it didn't go your way, you feel like you didn't get justice in this situation. You kind of, <laughs> maybe that was poor judgment. Maybe that was poor judgment. Um, Whatever happened here, I'm going to get one for this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords? I want to try to get most information I can. The High Priestess. Okay. The High Priestess. I feel like there was a... Okay, here's what happened. Here's what happened. The Lovers is in reverse at the bottom of the deck. There was a disagreement because I feel like this person, this other person here, may feel as if you are keeping something from them, okay? There's a, this is a card of a mystery, um, hiding something. You you feel as if this person may have been hiding something for you, from you or this person feels like you were hiding something from them, but that caused this conflict and this miscommunication that took place, okay? Now, they feel or you feel that there was some clouded judgment, something that, some poor judgment on unfairness here. So something that y'all did not agree about, the two of you did not agree here, okay, on how to take um, the right approach to having a balanced um, place here, okay? Something wasn't balanced in this situation. Why is... The Hermit in Reverse. Holy Major Arcana, guys. Um, <laughs> the Hermit in Reverse. So this is like a story I'm putting together, okay? This right here is telling me that whatever happened here, the unjust that took place, it kind of pushed you, you feel, into a place of isolation. So the conflict happened, you felt an unfairness, and you had clouded judgment because you thought things were going to go out with as you planned, and they didn't. This person had harsh communication or wasn't okay with how the things were playing out. They felt like maybe you were hiding something from them in some kind of way. It caused this conflict to take place. This this argument, this disagreement to take place. So you went back into, or you feel like you were forced back into isolation. So there's no communication here, I feel like, which is also this, the whole point of this. Um, the whole point of this is the magician here in reverse, which is about blocked communications. It's about there being, um, you know, some kind of deceit that took place or some kind of confusion that's taking place here. And that's the confusion, okay? That's the confusion. One card. Got it. So let's find out why the Three of Swords is here. The Tower. Of course it is. With the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. So this is telling me that this is something that you're wanting to let go of. Again, this is the same energy that's back up here that you're wanting to let go of. It's like you're drowning yourself in your sorrows, kind of, like you've, this destruction took place, and you want to have, you want to have a change here. You want for things to be different, not to stay in this energy anymore. You know, you want to, yeah, six of swords here at the bottom of the deck. You want to move on. You want to move on past this. You want to move into a calmer place. This is the overall energy here I'm getting. You know, the Nine of Swords in reverse is moving on past all that that we talked about. Anxiety, stress, all that stuff. Fear, what's to come. The Ten of Wands is the same similar kind of energy. 
It's talking about wanting to have a radical change in your life, wanting to learn to say no, wanting to let go. The Six of Swords. This is a card of wanting to move on, wanting to move to a calmer place. It comes right after the Five of Swords, which is something that we saw here. So having that conflict take place and then wanting to move past it. Queen of Swords is in reverse under that. That could be this person with the Queen of Wands. Wow, and the Mother Star. Okay, so this is this person that you see. The Mother Star is the Empress in Tarot. So this could be a mother or a wife or a spouse or well, wife and spouse the same. Someone that maybe you have a long-term connection with or it could be a mother of some sort. Um, but this is how, well, this is a love reading. So this is how you're seeing this person. You feel like this person's very cold to you, and you also feel like this person's be being very selfish as well. <sighs> okay. Hmm. So that's what's going on. How do you move forward? I'm going to ask that, actually. Because there's some, this, I don't like this energy right here for you. This isn't a good energy to be in because it's, this is coping. This is a coping mechanism. Not, not wanting to feel this, wanting to release it so bad that you're putting other things in front of it instead of focusing on the pain and getting through the sorrow and pain. You know, the devil and the ace of wands in reverse. You don't know which direction to take. So you're focusing on obsessions. You could be even be obsessively thinking about the situation, which is something else that you want to get out of. So I'm going to ask a different question. I'm going to ask spirit. This is, they're telling me what's going on. I want to see what, how do you get past this moving forward? What's to come? Let's ask that. Let's ask that. That's what I want to ask. What's to come in this situation? What's to come in this situation, Spirit? What's to come in this situation? The Paul three. Well, that popped right out. Look at that. That's a magician. So what was the other card? Well, great. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Well, I read it like the magician. What was it? Was it the Hierophant? I think it might have been the Hierophant. It has a different name in this deck. Creator of all. Hmm. That might have been the higher fit. So if it was, I mean, it's still the same energy. It's a challenge, you know, that's the challenge. You may be wanting to approach this situation in a different way, but you know, that talks about there being a run in with conflict with, with, you know, the way that you're wanting to do things here. So now you have the magician, which is good because you're taking some kind of control or, um, with the three of wands. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen here. The magician is someone that's, that has everything that they need. So you're gonna step into an energy where you, you are the magician. You have everything that you need. You're gonna have this realization that you have everything that you need. You're capable to succeed. With the three of wands, this can mean that you may be traveling in some way. Um, you could feel like maybe your hard work is paying off. Whatever it is successful-wise that you're wanting to do could be paying off. Um, let's get some more. You may be more focused from what you were before on your future here. The Two of Swords in reverse. This is still a card of indecision or feeling confused. So that energy is still kind of lingering. Feeling confused about what... I think it's kind of that you're confused about where you are with this other person. You know? Or you may figure out that the, you know, the truth may come to the surface here. Some kind of truth may come to the surface. Or this could just be a realization that you have. But, you know, that's communication there with the sword. So, the four of wands in reverse. Oh, okay. You're going to have a realization here. You're going to have this awakening, if you will. Um, that you're going to be okay when it comes to this disconnection here, or that this is over for you. 
you're going to have this realization here. The four of wands in reverse. You know, I'm seeing it in the way that I just explained it, but that card itself is actually, it means that, you know, there's a lack of support or, or there's an instability that's there that you may feel, you know, moving forward that we'll get some, I'm going to get some clarifiers for that because I don't want to, I don't want to speak too much on it other than what I already said. The Ten of Wands, again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going here? So you're in this, like, good energy coming into this. And then you have this indecision here in the middle, and you go back, back into where you were. But you're, you're headed in a good place. You're taking control. You have success moving forward. What is going on with you? So why is, okay. Not a ones. So you may get some kind of, this not a ones energy. <laughs> this is a fast moving energy. This is a player energy, by the way. But this is a taking action, right? Um, things turning out better than you expected. Um, this is about how adventure is waiting you or, go, or you're going for it, okay? So you may feel as if you have everything you need in order to, to move on here with your life and take inspired action to take adventures here in your life. I'm saying that especially because the three of wands that's here, which is a, a card of taking, um, um, traveling, you know, or knowing that success is coming to you. Three of wands, please. Strength in reverse. Hmm. You may be running out of patience here, okay? It's like you have this good energy that comes in, this inspired action, very action-oriented energy that comes in. But then you have a, this, which you're running out of patience with things unfolding in the way that you want them to. You're, you may be have waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting your, for your success, and you're running out of patience when it comes to that. Why is the, the two of wands? You could be waiting on something in particular. You could be waiting on an opportunity or something like that. And you're running, this could be, this could be a love interest or this could be a job or this could be the situation with this person, but you're waiting. And you feel like success is coming, right? You've been focused and you've been working hard on it and you have a lot of confidence that it's coming, but you're also impatient as well. So why is the two of swords here? Queen of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm getting, guys. I feel like some, I, I'm feeling a heavy Leo energy, by the way. So you may be coming into contact with the Leo. But there's some energy here of someone new possibly coming into the picture, okay? And you're indecisive about that person. You're indecisive about that person. And then you go back here. Holly. Four of Wands in reverse. The Hierophant. Mm hmm. This is two cards of marriage here, by the way, but. <sighs> Shoot. It's like you go through this and you're doing good, and you get to this point to where you're like, okay, I'm going to be successful here. I'm just waiting for. My ships to come in, you know, I'm waiting, I've been working hard at this, I know I'm building up confidence here, I'm going to be good, I'm going to be okay, and I'm in control, and then you get faced with a decision with someone else. It's like when you feel like you're ready for someone else, and then that person comes into the picture, and then it reminds you of your past, and then you're stuck again. That's what's happening here. Because of this new person coming in, Let's see how you feel about this new person. Why is the Queen of Wands here? How do you feel about this new person, this Queen of Wands? Chariot in reverse, that's Cancer energy. The Chariot in reverse. <laughs> okay, I was laughing because these look like the same person. So he or she has her hair down. This person may be someone that's different from what you're used to in some kind of way. You may feel like you have like a 
They may have some kind of a... Hmm, I'm getting this crazy energy here. This person may have some kind of aggressiveness to them, like a very fiery nature to them where they like to take control or they may be very um, free in a way of they have their own way of thinking, you know, moving forward. And that may be something that you struggle with in a way and that's why you're indecisive. But I feel like a lot of the indecision comes from this past energy. Because there was someone here that you were committed to with the Hierophant showing itself, that you're disconnected and you still have a lack of harmony there. There's still a lack of harmony that's taken place. And you lack direction on, on what to do here with this Queen of Wands. Why is the Ten of Okay, these cards are jumpy. Six of Wands. The Six of Wands. The Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands. <laughs> That's a crazy energy. The Ten of Wands is about having a burden, you know? Feeling stressed out feeling obligated or restricted in some kind of way. She's definitely restricted here. She's being burned at the stake. Um, I think that you feel like this past energy here is holding you back from being able to be successful. So strange. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. That's a loss, feeling left out in the cold, struggling. Okay, so I think that you want to be in this king, this Knight of Wands energy. You want to take, this could be you just wanting to put yourself back out there, you know? You wanting to be in this space to where, you know, you go and experience these passionate moments or whatever they are with others, kind of exploring and, and all that, but it doesn't fulfill you. You still feel this loss. You're struggling. It's like you wanting to be in that energy, but you're struggling to be in that energy. Because you're still obsessively thinking about this past person here. Mm -hmm. But then this, this Queen of Wands comes into play. Tell me more about the Chariot. Yep, that's what it is. That's what it is. Look at that. Queen of Cups. This is both Chariot energy. I mean, this is both Cancer energy here. So, a Leo is going to come into the picture here. This Queen of Wands energy. Someone that you find very attractive. Someone that is um, fiery. You know? Um, inspiring. A leader. But you don't know which direction to take it. Because you still have this Queen of Cups energy that's there. Your emotions also, I feel like, aren't in sync with this new person. It's like you're restricting yourself because of this Queen of Cups energy. You're stuck in the past of, of this other person. So you don't know which direction to take this new person because you're still stuck in the with this old person. Tell me more about the Hierophant. The Ace of Pentacles. That's a lost opportunity. That's a card of worrying about your pinnacles, worrying about prosperity. I think that what you're afraid of is if you, if you go with this Queen of Wands energy, then I think that your this, I feel like you feel like is going to be any kind of opportunity with this past person will be done. It's like you're closing the book on that if you if you go with this Queen of Wands energy. Why is the Six of Wands here? Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I mean the Eight of Swords in reverse. So that's the burden that you carry is how am I going to have success here? You know, there's that Two of Wands again. Again, it's a card of you planning for your future, planning, moving forward, making decisions on what you want to do. 
And I think that you make a decision here that you don't want to hold yourself back. I think that you finally make a decision for yourself that you want to have success. You want to have victory. You want to triumph over this ten of wands, this burden that you've been carrying. And you don't want to restrict yourself anymore. So this is a card of, you know, this is like we talked about in the beginning. This is about being trapped, feeling trapped, feeling anxieties, feeling frustrations, all this other stuff that's taking place. When it comes up in reverse with the two of wands, it's saying, I'm making a decision to not let any of that hold me back. It's setting yourself free from all of that on what direction you want to take moving forward. You know, <clears throat> it's having freedom. Facing any kind of fears that you have, which I think I think that your fear is you're going to lose an opportunity with this past person and just in going for it. And you have the hangman in reverse with the king of cups in reverse and the ten of cups. The page of swords. Now I'm noticing here, guys, the four of wands and the hierophant are both cards of marriage. The ten of cups is a card of family. And there's no spouse here. It's the, it's the, the lady with two kids. And then you have the King of Cups there on top of that, which you have this Queen of Cups as this past person. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, but I'm saying, I feel like you feel disconnected from this family here. And you've really been analyzing and thinking about this and wanting to break yourself free from this energy, not repeat the same pattern over and over, you know? And so you have an opportunity here I think this is something that you're possibly thinking about. I don't know that it's necessarily played out yet. I don't know where this card came from. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Wow. So this is not really your wish fulfillment. This is not really what you want. I feel like this is something that you're forced, forced into in a way. You know, that's why you struggle here in the beginning. If you're someone that hasn't been single for a long time and now you are, you like you struggle to kind of put yourself out there and you feel like every time you're connected with someone, you just remind you of this past person, you just feel like this loss over and over. This this nine of cups, which I don't even know when this came out. I'll have to re go back and look to see when it came out. But when it comes up and when it comes up like this, this is your wish fulfillment, right? This is everything you've ever wanted. This is your happiness. But when it's in reverse, it's misery. It's a lack of fulfillment. It's unhappiness. And I feel like that's kind of what you're feeling here, what you're struggling with, is that this isn't really what you wanted. But this is what you're faced with. And you're trying to break yourself free from carrying this burden. Mm-hmm. So you have a decision or indecision, but you're confused about what you want to do here when it comes to this Queen of Wands that comes up. Just curious. What's the, what would happen with this Queen of Wands? That popped right out. The devil in reverse. It's actually, I think that would be kind of a good thing there. Because you saw the devil come up in the beginning, which I told you I was worried about that energy. Because that's when you're kind of using coping things and stuff to kind of take over all the anxieties and stresses that you feel. When it comes up in reverse, you're wanting to kind of release that. It's freedom. Releasing control, detachment. you know, releasing dependency or confronting those fears. And I feel like with this queen of wands, whoever that is, I feel like will help you to release the deta the attachment that you feel for this past person. Tell me more about that. There's that hangman again. Releasing yourself from breaking, breaking yourself free from old patterns, getting yourself unstuck. You know, this new person here is someone that can kind of help you. It's not something that I really recommend. <laughs> Just in my opinion, I always feel like it's good to kind of 
fully kind of, you know, let yourself, it's like where you kind of fully just let yourself be okay independently before someone else comes along. But this is the opportunities that are coming to you. This is the way that it's coming across moving forward. Okay. This page of swords is, that's in reverse here at the bottom of the deck is too much thinking. <laughs> too much thinking. I think you're overanalyzing so much because you don't know which position you're in. You don't know which direction to take. You, yeah. You know, I don't know necessarily that this Queen of Wands energy is someone that's going to, because you're seeing this person as the Queen of Wands, um, I don't know necessarily it's someone that's going to be around for a long period of time, but it's definitely someone that you can connect with. I think it's, you know, Queen of Wands is someone that's nurturing, and I feel like that might be why you're attracted to this person, because it's what you're needing. But it will definitely help you to not focus on this past energy, the sacred feminine. What else? So I'm getting a couple things from this. One of them is that you need to kind of really get more in tuned with your sacred feminine energy. So that's your, we all have both the masculines, the leader, the strong, the independent. You know, well, they're both are, but I mean, just the, you have the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy. And it's like, kind of needing to connect with that nurturement to yourself. This is again an energy of you nurturing yourself the way that you want instead of looking for it outside of yourself. You comforting yourself. You showing yourself compassion. You embracing that part of yourself. Um, treating yourself, you know? Embracing growth there. So let's keep going. What else? Flow. This is a call for you to just be in the flow of whatever's happening. Don't try to take control here and try to just let things play out in the way that they need to play out and the way they're supposed to play out. Um, don't be focused too much on the future of what's going to happen. I feel like that's a lot of your burden is you're focused on how the future will play out. You know, what's going to happen here in the future of this? Paul too got the same card. Infinite show, can I, and I can't say it. Shelf them, but I feel like infinite, you know, like possibilities could happen here. Stories of a mother on the back of the deck. That's interesting. Because I mentioned that in your reading. I feel like if you can just be in the flow of your whatever space that you're in, I feel like you could have happiness here if you just focus on what could actually bring you happiness here and not focus on the past or what was and what how everything unfolded and, and all that other stuff you know just kind of taking your power back not letting all that fear and anxieties take over your decisions you never want to let your fear control your decisions okay can i have a card here please okay you. We have love fiercely. Whooper swan. So the swans are, are, yeah, this is what you're struggling with. I feel like you have a lot of love to give. I do. I feel like that you, you have a lot of love you want to give. Um, this may be someone that you feel like you have to be connected with for life in some kind of way. You could have kids together. There's some kind of connection there. Um, we did see all those marriage cards there, so, and the Six of Cups, which could be a re reference to kids. But, uh, and there's three birds here, by the way. These two swans, swans mate for life, right? Swans are always, they have that one mate in life. And I think that you saw this person as someone that was your swan. And I think that's why it's so hard for you to disconnect here. But what this is kind of insinuating here is that you need to 
really bring love into the situation overall and accept the situation as it is moving forward. So in order for your, you to bring yourself peace, for you to have peace, you know, I'm actually going to get, I didn't do this for Paul one, but I'm going to get you some of these cards too, but let's see what happens here. Abundance is coming to you. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you. Twin flame again. That came out in Paul three. So that's that connection that you feel, right? You may feel very in tune with this person. You may feel like this person is just like your, you may feel if you know the twin flame journey or whatever that is for you, you may feel that. Or you may just feel like this person is someone that you just feel very sacred with. You know, you feel this deep soul connection with, this bond with. And that's why it's so hard to, to move past that. Play hard, time fun, to laugh, enjoy each other. Um, again, this is, <laughs> this is that energy of you wanting to be in that not a wands energy. To enjoy yourself there. To kind of get your mind off of the situation or try to support Lean on your inner circle for support during this time. And we have unavailable at the bottom of the deck. This person is unavailable to give you what you do, give all you deserve. Um, I don't think this person wants to give to you. This person from the past, obviously. They're not in an energy of wanting to give to you. I don't know what the reason is behind that. But there was definitely a conflict that took place that caused the two of you to be in um, closed, closed off energy from one another. I do feel like this is a call for you just to lean on your support, your inner circle, your close friends and families, whoever it is that you're around that can bring you self-awareness and um, fulfillment, you know, in that space. Okay, so let's get some of these. I just want to see what comes up because I think these are important to you. These are just inspirational quotes, but they're kind of funny. Some of them are kind of funny. <laughs> Look, it's the same one that turned over already. Great leaders don't blame the tools they are given. They work to sharpen them. That's interesting. So whatever situation that you're in, you don't blame, you know, the situation or people in the situation. You just use it to make yourself stronger. And, and the, you know, there's a lesson in that. Strive your distractions. Starve your distractions. Blah, 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 blah. Starve your distractions. Feed your focus. Mm -hmm. We talked about your distractions there. You remember? We talked about all that. And it's wanting you to focus on your future success. Because that's where you're going to really fulfill, feel fulfilled. The same boiling water that softens the potato hardens the egg. It's about what, you, what you're made of, not the circumstances. Rise your words, not your voice. It's the rain that grows flowers, not thunder. So that conflict that took place there. Just because my path is different doesn't mean that I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so you need to keep that in mind moving forward. Just because that you're in a different place than maybe what you expected yourself to be in this moment in time doesn't necessarily mean that you're not in the right place. It's just the way that you're perceiving it. You know, everything happens for a reason. It's meant to happen like this for a reason. You just have to be able to be open to seeing that reason instead of being trying to control the situation and how you want it to play out. Because all that's going to do is cause ten of wands, burdens. Because it's not going to play out exactly the way that you want it to play out. It's going to play out in the way that it's meant to. Regardless of how much control you try to take. Aging, this may be a concern for you. You may feel like you're you know, starting over at a later age in life, that may be something that you worry about. Um, divine timing, I already saw that once. Let me get one more. And courage. Aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seemingly restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine chakra. Okay. Okay. Divine timing. The divine brings things to us in timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, 
nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy divine timing, dear Lord. So this is again, just you kind of releasing control and stepping into the flow of the way things are supposed to be. Courage. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. Yep. Okay, so let's get some key cards. I think I wasn't expecting getting these out, but I did it for everybody else. I'm do it for y'all. Let me see if I can get some. Let me try to shake them up here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what we got. We have... Is this thought useful? That's something that you really need to be asking yourself. Something that you're thinking about. And, hmm, is this thought, is this hurting me or is this bettering me? Service. So maybe if you um, have some kind of opportunity to service um, work, you know, wise or some kind of opportunity in career or something comes up, that could be a, a way to, for this to help. Compassion. This is a call for you to bring compassion to the situation and to this past person. Just because, you know, you are going through all of this it doesn't mean that this person's not going through anything. This person could be possibly going through their own, you know, their own situation, their own crap, their own, in, you know, burdens that they're carrying as well. Even though you, you know, they did show up <laughs> as the queen of, uh, what was it? The queen of Oh, no, I forgot. Queen of Swords in reverse, which is cold, someone that's cold. And then I think the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is someone that's selfish. So, but you need to show compassion here because you don't, you know, include compassion here because you don't know. You just, we don't really truly honestly know what the other person is really thinking. You know, we don't know what their perception is of the situation and how it played out. Rest, relax, and relief. I am that. Be artistic. Be loved one. Move away and play. So if you were thinking about this, and we had that three of wands there. So if you've been thinking about moving away um, and the two of wands, so those are both cards of moving. Okay, so let's get one of these. These are um, just initials. These could be initials of you, of you or this person. This could be a word spelled out. There's also numbers in here, so. Hmm. Interesting. So I do feel like you're at a crossroads with the time symbol here. Um, we have Ilm and X. So this is definitely probably an X, maybe that you were married to. And um, we have an A. Q. We have T E L R E V L. So there's tail. Um, Q A. We have two Q A's here. <laughs> Another V and an M or a W. I guess this could be an M or W as well. Okay, so tell's the only thing that's really standing out to me. Um, be careful what you tell yourself, by the way, especially about this person. And this is a repetitive message today. Be really careful about what you tell yourself about the other person because everybody has their own perception of a situation. They're living it, seeing it in their own way. And it could be very different from the way that you are. So just be careful of those things that you tell yourself about this other person. And just, sometimes you just have to accept a situation. If, if this person's not willing to see your part of the story, your part of the situation, sometimes you just have to accept that. And you can't burden yourself forever. You just have to accept it and kind of move forward. We have R here. Um, I don't really see anything else that's just standing out to me. So if y'all see anything that I'm, I'm not seeing here, can you please put 
put it in the description box for me and um, appreciate it. I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see these better. These could be initials, you know, like I said, or um, just spell something out here. Okay, all right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated and made sense to you guys. And um, yeah, that's all I have. So thanks for being here. Thanks for your kindness and your support. And I hope to see you again soon.